Shalom, Ya Shurala. First and foremost, I'd like to start this lesson by giving all praises, honour and glory to the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Recha Kodash. Double honours to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone who rule well and taught me this 100% truth. Double salutations to the Hakim out there spreading this word in truth and sincerity. Shalom to the few Akwath listening in today. I'm back at you for another in transit lesson on the way to the plantation field entitled <coughs> And He Causeth All. Alright, now I've been touching on this topic quite a bit recently, but that's because, you know, we're meant to be measuring the times diligently. We're meant to be, uh, you know, looking at where we are in prophecy and, and at the moment, it's pointing to the MOTB. We're in that time now where they can unveil this MOTB at any point. They've already, they've pretty much already got the, um, the, the infrastructure in place. It's just about creating the, the, you know, the perfect problem and then coming in with the so-called solution. All right. Um, it was reported yesterday that Biden signs computer chips bill into law. All right. So they're now going to start, you know, creating jobs for the MOTB to be, uh, um, you know, to be manufactured on a, on a, on a wide level. All right, you know, they're, they're about to make their move, you see. And all those camps who, you know, um, who said that the MOTB was something else or it was, it was sleeping with the white woman or, you know, whatever other bogus doctrines they was coming up with, they're going to be confounded, man, when this is brought uh, forward and made mandatory. They're not going to have an answer. They're not gonna. They're, they're not gonna know what to tell their congregation. They're gonna have to, you know, come to terms with and accept that GMS, the men of Great Millstone, had it right all along, man. All right. So let's start off with this, uh, you know, the main scripture here, Revelation 13 and 16. And he causeth all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hand or in their foreheads, that MOTB, that grain of rice, okay? And that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark or the name of his beast or the number of his name. So, you know, you're gonna be completely alienated out of society if you don't take this MOTB. But we know that the elect will not take the MOTB because we know the consequences that come with it let's quickly get that in the next chapter revelation 14 and uh and nine and there followed another angel what's the cyclist doing and there followed another angel salaki and the third angel followed them saying with a loud voice, if any man worship the beast and his image and receive a mark in his right hand or in his forehead, so, so like in his forehead or in his hand, the same shall drink of the wine of the wrath of the most high, which is poured out without mixture into the cup of his indignation. And he shall be tormented with fire and brimstone in the presence of the holy angels and in the presence of the lamb. All right, so those of you who bowed down to the wicked agenda and got the MOTB because you know you was too concerned about losing that bag, you was too concerned about being alienated out of society, being an outcast. All right, you weren't concerned with your salvation. You see, well, guess what? You're gonna be um, um, you're gonna be tormented with fire and brimstone, man those nuclear missiles are going to come upon you that that concentrated fire from the chariots are going to come down upon you man because you you didn't uh you know you subscribe to the devil's agenda you didn't repent you didn't believe in the names of yahweh shim yahweh shai all right you mocked and you scoffed okay so there's a there's a price to pay for that man 
and and those of you, you know those of you unbelievers all right you're gonna pay that price you see but we even know that that you know not this truth ain't for everyone this truth is only for the elect so even you mockers and scoffers you're fulfilling prophecy man let's go to the book of second peter chapter 3 and verse 3 bear with me just at a roundabout Knowing this, th knowing this first that there shall come in the last days scoffers walking after their own lusts, and that's what we have today. We have these unbelieving jakes, right, walking after their own lusts. You know, coming up with their own wayward doctrines, their own uh, uh, diabolical beliefs, which is going to do nothing but lead them to their destruction, man. Okay, and those that hearken unto them, right, um, walking after their own lusts. And saying, where is the promise of his coming? You see, they, they don't believe in the words of the scriptures because, you know, things are not moving as fast as how they want it to. But, but, you know, if you see things with a spiritual eye, you see that this thing is moving quickly, man. It seems like a long time, but this thing is moving quickly, man. And, and, and you know, the Heavenly Father, he's a cold chess player because when you, when you deep it, there's so many different things going wrong at the same time and it's all gonna come crashing and burning all at once. And these people who didn't believe in the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, who mocked and scoffed, they are going to have to deal with all these calamities that are gonna hit them all at once, man. You've got the financial system uh, um, um, collapsing. You've got, you've got uh, you know, uh, what's the word? You've got talks of a famine coming, okay? You've got um, soaring energy prices. You've got inflation. Okay, you, there's so many different things going wrong at the same time, man. And it's all gonna come crashing and burning all at once. You see. And you see, um, when when people's backs are pushed against the wall, right? That's when they're gonna want to seek the so-called solution, which is to do what? To take that MOTB. Right, that's going to be the temporary solution because we know there's going to be a great judgment for those that take it, man. All right, but two thirds of our people are in this spirit of um, Second Peter three and four, and saying, "Where's the promise of his coming?" For since the fathers fell asleep, uh, oh my days. One sec. For since the fathers fell asleep. All things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. So you know they are in that spirit of yeah, the Lord ain't coming. All right, I, I've been I've done wickedness a hundred times. I'm still here on earth, wicked as fuck. The Lord ain't coming, man. All right, for this they are willing they are willingly ignorant of that by the word of God, the heavens. were created of old and in the earth standing out of the water and in the water wherein whereby the world that then was being overflowed with water perished so they're forgetting that this very same god of the bible that you know drowned out this world by way of the flood during noah's time is the same god that's gonna you know bring forth that 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 um fiery judgment you see Verse 7, but now, but the heavens and earth, which are now by the same word, are kept in store, reserved unto fire against the day of judgment and perdition of ungodly men. Okay, so the same God that destroyed this world by the way of the flood is the same God that's going to destroy this world by way of nuclear fire and that concentrated fire from the chariots. Okay. But because you see the uh, um, things in the, the rate of, of events are not happening at their, you know, how fast they'd want it to be. They're just like, you know what, let me just go, let me just be in the world. All right. Let me just, you know, thrive in my wickedness. I don't need to repent. I don't need to seek the Lord. That's the spirit two thirds of our people are in, man. All right. But when their backs are against the wall, they're going to take this MOTB. Mostly because of lack of knowledge, man. Because they, are, you know, they, they haven't been searching the scriptures. They are not learned. 
So they're not going to know that if they take this MOTB, there's going to be a great judgment for it. Okay? You know, they're going to... Um, um, they're going to take the MLTB because, you know, it's going to be cool. It's the new technology. Um, they're going to get that UBI. They're not going to have to suffer. You know, they don't have to be alienated out of society. So all these reasons are going to make it attractive for two thirds of our people to take the MLTB. All right. But as I said, this devil, he's going to push everyone's back against the wall, man. All right. By, by way of these, these uh, uh, perilous times. Which you can, you know, and that's also a prophecy that in these last days there will be perilous times. All right, you know, Israel, two thirds of our people are in a deep slumber because all these things that are happening, the rate of events that are happening, and they still don't know what time it is, man. All right, Second Timothy three and one. This know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. We're in those perilous times now. And they're only going to get worse. They're going to keep ramping up, ramping up, and ramping up until Yahweh Shai returns. Okay? Verse 2. For men shall be lovers of their own selves. Um, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, without natural affection, truce break breakers, false accusers, Incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good. All right, and they despise us that are good. All right, those of us that fear the names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. We are despised, man. We are looked down upon. We are, you know, we're like the gum underneath your, uh, uh, um, someone's shoe. No one gives a shit about us, man. All right, but you see, um, when, when the time of trouble comes, then it shall be known who are the Lord's chosen, man. Then that's when our people are going to be willing in the day of thy power, pursuant to Psalms 1, 10 and 3. That's when our women are going to want to get in line. That's when, uh, uh, you know, the wicked men of our people are going to wish that they got their ass in check uh, uh, soon enough, man, because it's going to be too late for them. All right. Um, verse 4. Traitors. Heedy, high-minded, lovers of pleasure, or lovers lovers of pleasures more than the lovers of God, having a form of godliness, but denying the power thereof. From such turn away. All right. For of this, for of this sort are they which creep into houses, and lead captive silly women laden with sins. Led away with diverse lusts, all right? So, you know, you have a lot of, uh, uh, um, you know, the simple-minded woman who, um, you know, follow after these um, wicked ways, all right? Because we know that Eve is, is, is the weaker vessel. So she's easily influenced and, you know, her mind is simple, all right? And the simple believeth everything, man, all right? Verse 7 ever learning and never able to come to the knowledge of truth and just touching on verse six as well because you know the majority of two-thirds are going to be you women man all right first of all there's more women out there than men all right and and you know the wickedness of a woman can't compare uh, uh, um, to the wickedness of a man all right that's why in isaiah 32 it says rise up ye women that are at ease man our women are, are at ease in this um, um, wicked ass society Alright Because this is Esau and Eve's world Alright But you see When, when Eve's coming I mean, not Eve, When Esau's coming down With that hammer And you know Those draconian measures You're going to be seeking a man of the Lord In that day man Because you know that's, that's, that's the only way That you can be saved a woman's salvation comes through the man, all right? And two thirds of, 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 of the men, of our people, you know, they're on their own, man, all right? They're, they're gonna go out in the worst ways, you see? Let's go to the book of Proverbs. 
chapter 1 And uh, let's read verse 7 real quick In which it says The fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge But fools despise wisdom and instruction all right, and two thirds of our people are fools, man. They don't want to hearken unto the words of Yahweh Ba Hashem Yahweh Shai. All right, they want to follow after their own lusts. They want to chase the bag. All right, they want to do everything but seek the Lord, man. But you see, there's gonna, um, there's gonna be a consequence that comes with that, man. All right, because you know, you can't bow down to the devil's agenda. You know, you can't serve sleazy E, Esau, Edom. And think that that you're gonna get off the hook, all right? The heavenly Father is gonna bring forth His judgment, man. You get that MOTB. The heavenly Father is gonna bring forth that cancer on you, a grievous sore. Read Revelation 16 and 2, all right? That's what you're gonna get for trusting in oppression, man. Because this MOTB is uh uh um what's the word? It's just further enslaving you, all right? We are already in bondage, man. You know. But our people have got comfortable in their captivity That they genuinely think they're free, man Alright, our people think they're free Yeah, you know, you can't go about and do whatever the hell you want You know, you, if, you, if you was to wake up and you was to kill someone You're going to do time for it, man Alright, these wicked elites they can, they can murder the whole entire population And they've been murdering the mass majority of the population anyway And ain't none of them behind bars for it, man so who, who's, who's the ruling? Who are the people ruling today then? Job 9 and 24 says that the earth was given into the hands of the wicked, right? But you see, um, his wickedness is going gonna, is gonna, to, you know, return upon his own head. Alright? The Heavenly Father, he's going to, um, you know, he's going to visit their sins. Alright? Let's get that real, well, let me get Baruch 3 and 8 real quick. Which reads, um, Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity. We are still in our captivity till this day, contrary to popular belief. You tell that to a two third Jake, they'll be like, Nah, I'm free. Nah, nah, he, 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 so he, he ain't ruling over me. Right? Yeah, you have to run to him for, uh, uh, to get a job. You have to run to him for some money. You gotta you got use his healthcare system. All right? You gotta, you gotta pay off uh, um, the debts that you have towards him. So how are you telling me you're not in captivity, man? All right. Baruch three and eight. Behold, we are yet this day in our captivity, where thou hast scattered us, because we are scattered. Our homeland is the land of Israel, man. But you know, you've got the elect scattered across the four corners of the earth. You've got the Israelites scattered throughout the four corners of the earth, right? For a reproach and, and, and a curse And to be subject to payment you got to pay your, 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 these bills Your rent, your mortgage uh, Parking fines um, uh, uh, Various different things right? We're subject to payment Tax Okay According to all the iniquities of our fathers Which departed from the Lord our power So this is what we And you know ultimately where our fathers coming back all right, reincarnation is biblical and this is what we get for um you know turning away from Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Alright, but our people can't recognize that we are yet this day in our captivity. Okay. I know the scripture I wanted to bring out after this and it's just left my mind now. Um what did I want to bring out? Oh yeah, so why do Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai? It's in the book of Lamentations. Okay, because contrary to popular belief, Esau will pay for for their sins, man. All right, you have these Edomites walking around proud as hell, proud as hell, man. All right, and they 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 think that oh, you know, you know, slavery happened so many years ago, or that that hardcore bondage because we are still slaves to this day. That hardcore bondage ended so many years ago, and ain't nothing happened. Like we ain't never gonna pay for that. Time that we, we treated the, the, the apple of the most high's most high's eyes uh, uh, with such cruelty. We're not gonna have to pay for that. That's how these devils think. Their inward thought is that their houses shall continue forever, man, pursuant to Psalms 49. Right? Lamentations chapter 4, 
verse 21. Rejoice and be glad, O daughter of Edom. And look, man, I've, I've got this, this Edomite chick. And, and now this Edomite uh, 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 man, you know, I'm just at the red light right now. She got, her, she got her music blasting, volume up. She's all dancing. She's rejoicing. She's being glad. Look, that's the spirit, man. You know, that's the spirit, man. She's all bobbing her head. She got her old school music playing. You know, she has her windows down. Then she had a, another Edomite man in traffic on the left hand side who joined in all right that's the fucking spirit man i mean, so lucky man that's the spirit man all right look lamentations 4 and 21 rejoice and be glad O daughter of edom all right rejoice and be glad you know this this is your world at the end of the day this is your kingdom man all right it's soon coming to an end so you 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 better you know enjoy it whilst it lasts man all right because it's soon over all right uh rejoice and be glad O daughter of edom that dwellest in the land of uz the cup also shall pass through unto thee thou shalt be drunken and shall and, and shall make thyself naked all right so that cup of judgment is going to pass on to these edomites man contrary to popular belief and you know uh, uh by making themselves naked it means like um their, their, their wicked ways are going to be exposed I was watching a video Of um, a concert that was going on And they had these massive uh, uh, boards and, and you know In the middle of the music playing And, and, and you know uh, uh, The artist performing They was putting it right in your face Putting it right in your face That you know They rule the world uh, Um Um, um Lie, lie, lie. All right. We want to make the, the richer richer and the poorer poor. There was obviously, I'm saying it in lack of better words, right? But it was going, it was being, you know, projected on those boards for everyone to see. And, and, and everyone is just cheering and woo and clapping and rejoicing. It's like, bro, you look, they're literally at this point, you know, the people are so docile right now. You know, there's gross darkness. Isaiah chapter 60, our people are so stupid so simple-minded that these elites ain't even gotta hide it no more man they, they they will literally tell you exactly what it is they're gonna do to you and our people are just like yeah woo, yeah i i couldn't believe it man I, man i would upload that video on youtube but it'll you know that'll probably be the end of my account you know but you know they're saying things like rule the world um, 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 burn books Change the narrative I, I, I couldn't believe it This is a concert man Alright so and those of you that are still in that spirit Or oh yeah you want to go see your favourite rapper You want to go to all these concerts Man you just, just forget about it man Just just go back into the world Because you're basically just, just worshipping demons man Alright Like it was so blatant what this message was portraying it was so blatant yeah you got the people still woo yeah woo you know all right we don't worship these idols man we worship yahweh shem yahweh in truth and sincerity all right but anyways back to lamentations chapter 4 and 22 the punishment of thine iniquity is accomplished o daughter of zion he will no more carry thee away into captivity he will visit thine iniquity, O daughter of Edom. He will discover thy sins. So these Edomites are going to get found out, man. All right? These Edomites are being exposed. You see? The Heavenly Father, he's, he's un uncovering the, their sins, man. All right? And they're about to receive that great judgment for it. You know? He will no more, uh, um, you know, close his mouth. Concerning his concerning their wickedness, man. All right, the time of judgment is around the corner. All right, and you know judgment is going to start with you, Israelites, man. Those of you that know that you're Israelites, First Peter four and seventeen. All right, let's go back to let's go to Proverbs chapter one. verse 22 how long 
ye simple ones will you love simplicity all right and scorners delight in their scorning and fools hate knowledge you know we're here telling you you know the heavenly father's got his mouthpiece pieces the prophets telling you warning you from him warning you not to take that MOTB warning you to repent right yeah all you people are like nah nah I, I don't believe the words of the Bible that's just mere fairy tale all right ah uh, nah man uh, when, when that MOTB cut yeah I'm gonna take it yeah yeah I'm gonna take because you know uh, 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 I want I want to get that bag you know I want I want to fit in I want to be a part of society you know how long will you simple ones love simplicity? Alright, verse 23. Turn you at my reproof. Behold, I'll pour out my spirit unto you. I'll make known my words unto you. The Heavenly Father is making known his words, man. You know, he's got his men out here preaching. Telling you what's going to happen before it even happens, man. Yet you people are just are in such a dumb, docile state. All right, you know, you just love simplicity. You don't want to take reprove or rebuke. You don't want to hear this word because you know that that's going to require change, man. And you people are comfortable in your wickedness, and you don't you don't want to repent. You know, that's the um, that's the that's the you know the, the 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 final conclusion. You don't want to repent. You don't really want this wicked ass kingdom to be destroyed because you people are thriving in it. All right. Proverbs 29 and 1 he that, he that being often reproved Hardeneth his neck Shall suddenly be destroyed Right? Suddenly shall ye be destroyed And that without remedy So those of you who constantly don't want to hearken You constantly uh, uh, come up against the men of the Lord You constantly mock and scoff You subscribe to Esau, Edom's wicked agenda Man for suddenly shall you be destroyed, man. Suddenly. Alright? Without remedy. Back to Proverbs 1 and uh, 24. Because I have called and ye refused. One second. Because I have called and ye refused, I have stretched out my hand and no man regarded, but ye have set my counsel. But you have set out not all my counsel And would none of my reproof Alright you, you don't want to hear the words of the Heavenly Father The Heavenly Father says Give them warning from me He's got his men out here Giving uh, you guys warning from him Alright Don't take that MOTB Don't subscribe to the agenda of Esau Edom Trust in the Lord with all thine heart Yet you guys still want to do your own thing man You know You, you don't believe in the words of the Bible you don't believe that the true name of the Heavenly Father and His only begotten Son is Jehovah Hashem Yahushai. Alright? You don't want to believe that. You, you still want to call on Jesus. You still want to call on Buddha, Allah. Alright? You still want to be deceived, man. Alright? Well, guess what? Verse 26. I also will laugh at your calamity. I will mock when your fear cometh. Alright? Because that time is coming, man. Verse 27 When your fear cometh as desolation And your destruction cometh as a whirlwind When distress and anguish cometh upon you Then shall they call upon me But I will not answer They shall seek me early But they shall not find me Alright For that they hated knowledge And did not choose the fear of the Lord Alright And what does it say back here In um, uh, verse 7 the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge But fools despise wisdom and instruction And because you despise wisdom and instruction Sleazy E is going to cause you to take that MOTB Because you're not going to know any better Alright Or you're not, you're not going to be grounded enough in the faith For you to understand that You know You take the MOTB and that's your salvation out the window all right. That's why the scripture says And he causeth all Because the devil is going to come with his manipulation man He's going to strip rats from you uh, Certain privileges from you All right, Alienate you out of society Make things all uncomfortable for you Just so that he can get you 
to take the MOTB. All right. So yeah, that's about it for now. You know, Lord willing, the spirit hits me again later on today to do another lesson. And you know, hopefully this lesson was edifying. And until the next time, I say shalom.